the door. Ah, we're recording. No. Stop. Okay. Hi, everybody. Good evening. We're back. It's Sunday night. What date? The 12th. And what did you do today? Well, we did a little road trip up to Bellingham slash Linden, Washington. We went to Linden. We go to Bellingham. We passed Bellingham going to Linden. Why did we do that? Because it was Avery's fifth birthday roller skating party. Done. It was fantastic. No, you, you, you guys have to understand, we're older. We had a great time. It was fun. He skated. I did not. But let me tell you something. We were in a rush to get home because we needed a nap. <laughs> we were so tired. We were like, we had fun, but Lord Jesus, those five years old. Two hours of little kidlets. Five little kidlets, right? We five. Got Julius, Lyric, Avery, Lula, Paxson. And it was wonderful. And my daughters and my son-in-law and my son-in-law's mother, father, sister, him, me, and you know who else. So lots of peoples. And there was three other birthday parties going on at the roller skating ring. Skyway. Is it Skyway? Skyway skate? Mm. Skate away? Something like that. Something. But it was... Anyway. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Everyone had fun. It was great. But on the way home? We had an incident. So you guys, let me just explain the situation. So... <laughs> I have lower back pain and it's bad. And so Mike and I on this regiment of walking up this hill, I've already told you guys, the monster hill. Yeah, the other stuff. Yeah, let me fix that right there. Okay, that looks better. Anyway, the monster hill. I almost was home and my knee gave out with a knee brace on and I hit my keister. So I was jacked up. As I told you before, long story short, I was giving some medication that can make you constipated. So I had a plan. I had a plan. I had a plan. It was the wrong plan, you guys. I found some old-fashioned chocolate, X-Lax chocolate, and I'm like, oh, sweet. I'm just going to make sure. I thought you don't like chocolate. I don't. So I was drinking ginger ale and water trying to wash it down. But I got it down. Three cubes. Why did I take three squares? You only need Are one. squares or cubes? I don't know what it was, but y'all... It was a lot of x lax whatever it was. I was jacked up. And what time did you take these? I took them yesterday afternoon. Mm-hmm. And then what happened? How was yesterday? Yesterday was fine. <laughs> that was today. Y'all yeah, was jacked up. So at the birthday party, mm -hmm. there's no way in heaven's name I'm getting on roller skates. And no, I took some <laughs> with a bad knee and some serious X lax action. So the, the first thirty minutes of the birthday party, I think I went missing. Did you make some progress? I, I did. On your situation? I did. So then I came out and the birthday party was fine. I was good. Then... The drive home. The drive home, y'all. It's a two-hour drive. And I want to know where everybody was going or coming from. It's a lot of traffic. It was like 5 p.m. on a Sunday. And everybody's like, they were leaving Canada or something, you know, because Linden is like five minutes from the Canadian border. So all of a sudden... And I'm like, Mike, the hair follicles in my stomach. <laughs> because the what? <laughs> because you tell them what you were talking about the other day about the cells in our bodies. There's lots of cells in our bodies. Okay. So in my mind, through anatomy and physiology, I start thinking about my stomach and how this X lac is doing this crazy thing to my stomach. And I'm like, tickling those cells. And I'm like, I think. I think I might need to pull over. Mike's like, are you all right? I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I went over the wave. I'm good. Let's see. So we get to Arlington, Washington. Arlington, Darrington. And I'm like, Mike, mm -hmm. something's, I, I don't know. 
and then again it passed. But when we got to Marysville, Washington, it, it returned. Was <laughs> it passed and it circled back. So tell them what happened, honey. She said, "We got to stop." I said, "I see a McDonald's sign. We'll go to McDonald's. McDonald's has good bathrooms." And we we're contemplating left or right. He's like, "No, it's left," and I'm like, "No, we got to go right." Now, y'all, I had. Left. I had some cute black boots on because it was snow still up in Linden, and um, I had my slippers and my footies in the car, so I put those on. Mike's like, there's a Panda Express. He's like, you want me to let, me, let you out here? I'm like, I was eyeing the Bank of America because, you know, I wasn't peri-dogging, but I was getting close. I'm just going to be real. Just going to be real. Put it out there. Okay. We have these moments. And it's a natural thing. Anyway, then you saw Walmart, and Joycey loves Walmart. She loves how clean it is. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> let me quote her. She said, "I can, I could blow up a Walmart bathroom just fine." <laughs> so I said, "Okay, we'll go to Walmart." So I pull up close. <laughs> Screech your heart. I'm like, I'll be in the parking lot. I don't even know you. Come find me. So you guys, she I've pops made out, it. Sprints. I was in there for 20 minutes. I don't know, but y'all, let me tell you something. I went into the handicap zone. I mean, bathroom. And you know how it has a handle on the thing, like a bar. A bar. And normally. I would hold on to the bar, but it's Walmart. I don't know how clean that bathroom is, so I'm not touching anything. So I have my scarf around my neck. And as I'm releasing my stomach, I'm thinking, Jesus, oh Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus, I made it in there. And you're oh, clutching your scarf? I'm clutching my, I'm almost choking myself. I'm so happy I'm in the toilet. <laughs> so I do my thing. I'm thanking the Lord as I'm walking out. I'm feeling so good. I mean, you guys. How good? Oh, God. I was, I was, it was amazing how I felt. But I think all that rush to my stomach, you know, and all that, I was like, whoo, whoo, release. Get in the car. Mike says, are you okay? <laughs> You look great. I'm like, in the name of Jesus, I feel wonderful. He's like, tell him what you asked me. I don't remember. You said, did I call on Jesus and Lord? <laughs> <laughs> he knows me. Because when she coughs in the middle of the night, she's like, <coughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> oh, Lord, help me. <coughs> so I thought maybe it would be like that. So... I told him how good I felt. He's like, man, we got to weigh you when you get home. I bet you lost two, two pounds. Did you weigh yourself? No. We'll never know. Oh, we'll never know, but look. But it felt good. That's <sighs> pretty much almost all that counts. That, that's what happened. And so as we get home. We're so tired. We got driving. We got kids. We got family drama. <laughs> we were hooped. We were hooped, so... We hadn't eaten all day. Not... I mean, you guys. Coffee, raspberries, yogurts, and banana. He had McDonald's. Breakfast of Champions. And that's all we had. Because at the birthday party, we did have a slice of cake. I had a thin slice. He had a, he had a pretty and good it was Safeway cake. It's Safeway cake. It was Safeway. really good. You're all right. You're all right. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. And, um... <laughs> And so but we that's had all we really eaten. We hadn't eaten. And we were too tired to stop after my situation at Walmart. Mike's like, I just want to get home. So when we got home It was like six, six thirty PM. Six thirty. Mike's like, Okay, here's the plan. We take a ninety minute nap. I'm like, no, set the alarm for tomorrow morning. <laughs> She's like, once I start, I just I'm, wanna cruise on through. I'm hitting cruising altitude. <laughs> Don't bother me. I just want to sleep. He's like, no, 90 minutes. I mean, we both must have been out like that. So, I slept exactly 90 minutes. 
I'm like, I'm not having it. And I have to tell you guys, thank God Mike woke me up because I was in a serious nightmare. <laughs> we won't get into that, but it was a yeah. serious nightmare. So I'm like, please, when he woke me up, tell me there's not an extra cat in the house. There's not some the, African the woman borders. with a boy and a girl saying they're going to move into our sped bear bedrooms and another guest. And he's like, honey, I have no information on this. Because in my dream, I ran downstairs. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I ran back upstairs and went to sleep. Woke up again. This is in my dream. 3D, 4D, 4, uh, 4G. It was 4G. It was, it was a totally 4G dream. Yeah, I was in it. In my dream, I ran downstairs to make sure I wasn't dreaming. Ran back upstairs. Ran downstairs again. Because now I'm mad. Because... These people, the house is a mess. There's video games going loud, and there's an extra cat in the house. It's not ours. So when he woke me up, she was freaked out, and then she was glad to be awake. I was so glad to be awake. And then I was like, that was stressful. That was very stressful. So we made dinner. I made dinner <laughs> with him hovering. Let's was, just call him hovering. I got excommunicated from the kitchen. I just thought, let me know. For like, offering wisdom. I have more wisdom than I can shake a stick at. Not really, you guys. I'm just kidding. I don't. But um, then I said, let's watch something happy. And what did we watch? The Kings of Comedy, 1998. And what did you think? It was funny. <laughs> what did you think of Bernie Mac? He was funny. And who was the other guy? Cedric. Cedric the Entertainer. He was funny. Mike had never seen them before. They were funny. Hilarious. You guys want to watch something? Google Kings of Comedy. Cedric the Entertainer and Bernie Mac. They will have you busting a gut sideways. So That, that was our Sunday. And now it is 12.17 because we took a, <laughs> a mid-afternoon nap. But I think we'll sleep okay. I know I will. Look. Little kids, roller skates, candy, screaming, falling... But the best part was my son-in-law. He fell down. And he could not get back up. He had jello legs. It was, I was like, where is my phone? I need a video, cam video camera, excuse me. Because it was funny. But we had a good time with our family, grandkids, daughters, son-in-law. Everybody. Everybody. It was really good. Um, being in London again, uh -uh. small town living is not not for me mm -mm. nope it's just not for me and I'm going to leave it at that okay anyway do you have anything else we get our Christmas tree on Tuesday it's almost Christmas it's going to be a big week for Christmassy stuff I'm so excited you guys in my birthday month first day of winter and my daughter's birthday and we want to shout out to Chris and Sis they're in their new house. Awesome. We're so happy and proud of you, too. And... Oh, they almost forgot Lula at the roller rink. Oh, tell them about that. That was a mess. <laughs> we were walking out after the party, and Portia's like, Where's Lula? And Chris and I were busy talking. He's like, I don't know. I said, She's by the foosball table, pink boots on. So Chris, 180s, goes back to find Lula. And they found their second daughter. Yeah. That was funny. But it was fun and we had a good time. And we we're blessed to have healthy family and friends and grandchildren. And it was great. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. All done? Put on your hat. Or oh, that's my hat. What do you guys think? Oh, let's do it pimp style. Bump it. <laughs> anyway. We're going to say goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow night. Deuces. Deuces. We're out. See ya. See ya.